What's up, Frame Fam? Welcome back to another video. Now, I was not expecting to make this video at all today, and this was kind of last minute, but AMD has shadow dropped a new GPU to finish their first gen budget RDNA cards off strong. That GPU is the Radeon RX 5300, and no, it is not the RX 5300M that launched later last year. All specs have been confirmed by AMD, and as always, my sources will be linked in my description below. So, with that said, let's get right into the details and see what this thing can do. So the AMD RX 5300 has the same core configuration as the Radeon RX 5500 XT, albeit with lower clock speeds, smaller memory bus, and less VRAM. We're getting a boost core clock speed of up to 1645 megahertz, 22 compute units, 1408 stream processors, 88 texture mapping units, 32 render output units, and that's all being backed up by 3 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM running on a 96-bit memory bus with 168 gigabytes per second of max memory bandwidth. With a typical TDP of about 100 watts, this card is able to achieve a total compute performance of 4.63 teraflops compared to the RX 5500 XT's 5 teraflops. The performance of the RX 5300 can be yours for a rumored 130 US dollars at launch, with no specific details given on when its retail launch date will be exactly. But the 5300 is a direct competitor to Nvidia's current GTX 1650 and 1650 Super models, providing about 45% better performance in games at 1080p than an overclocked GTX 1650 at a better price. This means the RX 5300 XT is able to achieve over 80 frames per second running on high settings in a game like Battlefield 5 for only $130. Now the sacrifice here is obviously memory, 3GB is quite low to today's standards, but at a little more than $100, to be able to match the $160 to $200 GTX 1650 Super, or at the very least get kinda close to it, sounds pretty good. Especially when the GPU is marketed solely for just 1080p resolutions, but personally I find that number a little strange, as the GTX GTX 1650 has 4GB of VRAM, with a variant that also has GDDR6 memory as well, although it's not as common as the GDDR5 variant. Even AMD themselves have stated that 4GB of VRAM just isn't enough anymore, then they go ahead and release a 3GB card. So that can seem a little confusing, and I hope that this is the last time we see a sub 4GB variant of any GPU that is marketed for gaming. It's also not quite clear if the benchmarks AMD provided for the RX 5300 have it matched up against the GDDR6 GTX 1650 variant plus its overclock, or if it's the GDDR5 variant. But I would have to say, to achieve more than 24 frames per second in games than an overclocked GTX 1650 that typically starts at around 20 or more US dollars is a great thing for budget gamers that have no need for anything super fancy and will only be playing on a 1080p screen for the foreseeable future anyway. This especially holds true for the very casual gamer. Games like League of Legends and Counter Strike, Valorant will all run beautifully on this card for a long time to come at 1080p. However, I do have one concern that the small amount of memory in the card will cause bottlenecks into the next generation of games that will be taking advantage of the upcoming Ampere and RDNA 2 architectural changes, as well as the next gen consoles. But again, for its price point and target audience, an RX 5300 user can't expect high settings, 60 plus frames per second forever, and I'm simply impressed that it can play some of today's games on Ultra running at 60 frames per second, with most games at least running on high settings to achieve that same level of performance or even more. What do you guys think about this new shadow drop? Are some of you interested in picking something like this up, or do you think it won't turn out to be as great as it all sounds? Let me know in the comments down below. Again guys, I like to keep these videos short and sweet, and I love to focus on the budget line of GPUs, that's where my channel kind of started, and that is my origin, so I will of course provide all details for any entry level and budget GPUs in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like, as it really helps YouTube show it off to others who might enjoy it as well, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more tech news and benchmarks. As always, fam, it's been a pleasure. Stay safe, stay happy, and keep on gaming.